So if you already have a telephoto lens built into your phone, do you actually need to buy a third party one? Let's find out. First things first, I did upgrade from the iPhone 8 Plus to the 10s Max, and so that's the phone I'll be using in this video. And the third party tele lens I'm using is the Moment 58mm. If you're looking at tele lenses, this is a good option, but of course there are other ones from companies like Siru, which I have not used, but I've heard good things. Sandmark, another one that I haven't used, but a lot of people say they make quality glass. And then of course there's Beast Grip. Beast Grip has a lot of good stuff too, and this new 3x tele looks pretty cool. Hey guys, this is Blake Calhoun, and a lot of people ask, if you have a native tele lens already, why do you need a third party one? Well, need is a strong word in this case. You can definitely get by using the native tele, but one of the biggest reasons to add a third party tele is you get to use the wider aperture lens on your phone. So here's the tele lens, and it's a f2.4 on the iPhone XS. Image looks nice, and you have a little bit of shallow depth of field there. And then here is the Moment Tele on the iPhone wide lens, which is an f1.8, and you'll notice immediately you have a lot more shallow depth of field. So we add the Tele lens to the wide lens on the iPhone, and the wide lens has a wider aperture. The Tele lens is a 2.4, and the wide lens is a 1.8. Now this will vary depending on which phone you have, of course. And here's a side-by-side -side comparison. You can see the difference in the depth of field. and then a closer view of the same thing. Here's another example. This is the native Tele f2.4. And in this case, there's almost no shallow depth of field. The image looks very flat. And here's the same shot using the Tele lens. The shot is actually a little bit wider, but the depth of field is much shallower. So this is obviously relating to video here, but this works great with photography as well. And using the wider aperture not only helps give you more shallow depth of field, it's also better in low light. So shallower depth of field and better low light performance are probably worth getting it alone. But then another thing on the iPhone that we have discovered is the tele lens is not nearly as stable. This issue applies to using third party video camera apps. The native camera app doesn't seem to exhibit these problems. And basically what happens is it will bloom slightly or glitch like it's in an auto mode. Here are a couple real world examples from my short film Miranda. You can see after the actor's dark jeans clear the frame, the exposure slightly shifts down. And in this shot it happens a lot. Right there is the SUV enters. And then again as that car passes you can see the exposure almost glitch, shift up and down. That's not good. I've been told this is an iOS issue. So hopefully this will be fixed, but right now it's an issue. It's subtle and it seems to be a little better with the iPhone XS, but it's definitely there and can ruin a good shot. So just be aware of that. But adding a third party tele to the native wide lens, there are no problems. It's rock solid. There are no exposure shifts. There's no glitches. Now this is a function of the phone, of course, not the lens itself but it's a good reason to add a third-party tele lens. Now, keeping in mind everything I just said about the native tele lens, you can add a third-party tele lens on top of the native tele lens. In particular, in photography, this could be handy, but video too, as long as you know to be careful using the tele lens in high contrast scenes. As a reference, here's the tele on the iPhone wide lens look. And then here's that compared to the tele on the tele. That's starting to look like a larger sensor camera shot this. And the second example here with the tree. That's pretty shallow depth of field. And then here was the tele on the iPhone wide lens. And now the side by side comparison. And here's the wide lens of the exact same shot and a cameo from me. Hey, how are you? You can really see how much difference the telephoto makes in this shot. So while you can definitely get by using the native tele lens built into your phone, adding a third party one though can really enhance the look of your video and also your photography. So that's why we recommend adding one to your mobile filmmaking kit. So what do you guys think? 
Do you use tele lenses? And if so, which one is your favorite? Thanks for watching guys. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, definitely do that now so you won't miss any of our future content. And we'll see you in the next video.